Hello and welcome back to some more Football Manager 2021. This is part 40 of season 4 of... Uh, so, no, sorry. Part 41, I think it is. Uh, we're in season 4 of the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with Aston Villa. Today we have got uh, the, the second City Derby with Aston Villa and Birmingham before taking on Hibernian in the first leg of the Europa Conference uh, first knockout round or second knockout round, whatever it is, um, it's nonsense anyway. But if we have a little look at what we've done since the last episode, which was that 1-0 victory against Southampton, you can see we then went on to draw 2 all against Manchester City. We were 2-0 up, so it was a little bit disappointing. Uh, to only come away with a point and it could be uh, title dependent that one uh, unfortunately we then beat Leeds United 5-1 with Neymar, Do uh, Calvert-Lewin and Ollie Watkins getting a hat-trick there we then beat West Ham 1-0 with uh, Calvert-Lewin scoring there and then most recently we beat Everton 3-1 Calvert-Lewin getting two and Watkins getting the third there so all that means for the Premier League is that we are currently uh, in fifth place with a game in hand on the top four, pardon me, uh, with 60 points from 28 games. So if we win today uh, against Birmingham, we will go back into the top four. In fact, we'll go up to third, four points behind leaders Liverpool. Man United have two games in hand. If they win both of them, they go up to second. So it is a monumental uh, sort of six-way battle for the title, if you like. Tottenham very much struggling there in the bottom half of the table, but uh, we should be finishing at least sixth and hopefully improving on last year's points total. We might have already done that. Uh, to be honest, yeah, 59 points we finished on last year. So we've already eclipsed last year's total. It shows how much progress we have made as a team so far this year. So let's have a little look at the squad performances at this point. Up goal scorer is Ollie Watkins with 37 from 40 starts, 26 for Neymar, 21 for Jamie Vardy, 10 for Bertrand Traore. Uh, and already 4-in-4 four four for Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Top assists then is Ollie Watkins again with 14. 13 for Grealish, 10 for Loftus-Cheek. Top average rating is Ollie Watkins with a 7.37, but plenty of players over a 7 average rating. So, let's have a little look at the team for today then against Birmingham. We've got Martinez starting in goal. We've then got Aaron's by Maguire and Brandon Williams in defence with Grealish and Rodriguez in the middle of the park and Calvert-Lewin and Neymar starting wide of Ollie Watkins and Jamie Vardy up top. So, let's get into it then. You know, it should be a match that we're winning, but we did lose to Birmingham earlier in the season uh, when we were away from home and uh, again that could turn out to be a very crucial match in the title race but uh, we'll see you know we should be winning this we're in good form uh, we're at home which our home record has, has been phenomenal I, I'm actually you know questioning whether we've even lost a game at home this year um, so let's go out there let's show them what we're made of that's that's the plan today let's do it let's do this thing uh, Sanchez gets it into the middle, Martinez comes out to collect, hopefully he's going to clear it, he's waiting, here's Maguire, Maguire now to Williams, Williams on the ball, gets it forward to Neymar, here's James Rodriguez, now Vardy, Vardy out wide to Calvert-Lewin now, who's going to cut inside, is he, oh well he's won a penalty I think, I think he has won a penalty, it they're saying it's, it looks harsh, it looks like a slam dunk to me certainly, but we'll see what the referee thinks, Peter Banks, uh, and he's going to come out, and hopefully it will be a penalty. Yep, it is a penalty, and it's going to be Neymar that's going to step up and take it. So here we go. Go on, Neymar, son. Let's get us off to a flyer. Neymar steps up and scores. So we're 1-0 up in the second City derby. 27th goal of the season for Neymar. And when he scores, he usually has a, a very good game. So that's a... a a positive start for us. Keeper nearly got there. Uh, Sluger there. But uh, we're 1-0 up and, and certainly making the, the start that we wanted to make at the moment. On to 63 points as it stands. So <clears throat> let's keep it going. Let's keep uh, let's move to attacking. I know we're 1-0 up but I think we can, we can do even better than that and improve that goal difference. Which again could come very much in handy. Here's uh, Onomar. Onomar now on the ball. 
sprays it back, but doesn't get it very far. Estrada now to Kelly. Here's Sunic. Sunic on the ball. Here's Akande. Now Estrada. Sanchez. Estrada again. Bai was there. And he did get it away. <clears throat> back to Martinez now. Bai. Grealish on the ball. Now Grealish bombing forward from the midfield position. Calvert-Lewin gets it forward. Neymar's there. He has Vardy. Neymar again. I think he was offside. I think he was offside. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's have a look at this again. I mean, it's going to count. It doesn't look like VAR's come into it. That was a brilliant ball. Neymar got it back. Vardy had the shot. And I, I guess maybe because it came off um, a defender, do we get away with it? Well, we're going to have a little look now. Okay, so it was that ball that was the one that was thought about. He was definitely offside there, but hey... We'll take it. We've had plenty of disallowed goals this season. Oh, wow. That was off the post from um, Harry Maguire. But here's Calvert-Lewin. He scores. What a finish that is. And it's 3-0 now. Sixth goal of the season. And Eric Bailly scores about the best goal he's probably ever scored in his career. And this is exactly what you guys have been missing, I guess, in the... Uh, in the in the live comms this season, we haven't been shown this attack and flair that I've seen week in, week out, and uh, I'm really glad that we're showing it this this time. Here's Neymar again with a free kick. Calvert Lewin's at the far post, and it's off the top of the crossbar. Wow, this this has been a fantastic performance so far, and at half time we are three nil up. So I think we've got to say I'm very pleased. Let's keep it up. And let's try and, and score even more because, hey, if we can get that goal difference up into the high 30s today, that would be amazing. Here's Aaron's. Peterson gets it away. Now here's Grealish. Grealish on the ball to James Rodriguez now, who seems to have settled into the, the deeper role a lot better than I thought. Here's Neymar. Neymar keeps going. It looks like a really terrible foul and Kelly's going to be sent off. And there you go, so Birmingham down to 10 men. It's going to be a free kick from Jack Grealish as well. He steps up, he shoots, and that's wide. And it's a shame that we didn't have Neymar stepping up there, actually. Um, but there you go, 60 minutes gone. Let's uh, swap Ollie Watkins and Calvert-Lewin round, and we can get Smith-Rowe out there on the right-hand side. Why not? Here's Onomar into the middle. Maguire gets it away. It would be nice to get a clean sheet today. Here's Neymar. Neymar running from deep. What's he going to do with it? Gets it forward. But here's Grealish now. Grealish with a chance. Mr. Aston Villa would have been delighted to get a goal in the big derby. Neymar into the middle. Here's Smithrow once again. Aaron's Grealish. Hammers now to Williams. Switches the play now to, to Grealish. Grealish gets it forward to Smith Rowe. Smith Rowe continues on. He's still there. Calvert Lewin. He has James Rodriguez. What a goal that is from James Rodriguez. His third goal of the season. And that was an absolute firecracker from him there. It was a long highlight, so you felt like something was going to happen. Smith Rowe got it in. Calvert-Lewin could have got his noggin on it, but that's a beautiful half volley, and he has really shown some great quality in the in the deeper role in midfield. And, uh, you know, we started him out in the Everton game last time out, actually, and I was really impressed because he, he hasn't played much football this season, but, uh, you know, he's still got the quality... And uh, it, it was nice to to see him get a goal. Unfortunately, we've lost our clean sheet, though. That's a, a little bit disappointing, but what can you do about it? Uh, yeah, we'll bring Ortiz and, and McGregor on for the final 10 minutes. Here's Calvert-Lewin. Ortiz now to buy. Here's Maguire. Look at the space that we've got here. Maguire fought to Neymar now. Here's James now to... Vardy, Smith Rowe back to Vardy. Couldn't quite get the get the shot away. And Vardy's been very quiet since January, I must admit. But uh, hopefully, he will find his scoring boots again before the end of the season. He has Egbo now a candy, and that's off the post. And that would have been a an a tense ten minutes or so. 
had that gone in. But it looks like we are going to get the three points, which is the main thing from today. We've got three in the bag of goal difference as well. And that's uh, exactly what we want to see. So an excellent victory today in the in the derby. And that puts us in an excellent position now. Um, let's put our arm around him. Superb in front of goal. There you go. And uh, 10 matches unbeaten now. So uh, if we have a little look at how we're doing. I mean, you can see we, we had that spell three games in a row that we should have probably won away from home. We've now got that spell at home. So hopefully we can turn it around. The running, very, very difficult though. That is the problem. So we need to maximise the number of points we get out of uh, the West Brom game and Burnley game and then just start really going for it. We've got to try and beat Arsenal away from home. We've got to beat Newcastle at home. Um, we've got to win our home games, you know, from now until the end of the season. I think that's that's the, the main thing we've got to do and just hope for the best uh, that other results go our way. We are, we've won 14 out of 14 at home. That is an incredible record. Can we keep it up? Four more games this season. If we win them all, that is a, a sensational achievement. Well, here we go then for the Hibernian match. Uh, you know, a couple of little changes in there. Uh, Yotta comes back from injury, so we're going to give him a little bit of a run out today. Other than that, everything's exactly the same as the as the last match. So, you know, we're going to give this competition uh, as much respect as we can. You know, I don't think uh, it's a priority. Hey, we're, we're in the title race, but um, more importantly, we're in the Champions League uh race and and you know we have an excellent opportunity to at least finish in the top four which gives us a shed load of money as well um which you know i think i think is possibly more important than winning the title this year you know if we win the title that is sensational it's amazing it's unbelievable um if if we do manage that but um I think it is really important to take this opportunity, get into the Champions League, and then we are a solid top four side then, in my opinion. Once we're able to invest the Champions League money into the squad, we can do what, what Leicester have essentially done, but uh, we shall see how it goes. So yeah, this competition isn't my priority, but it would be great to win a, a European trophy, most definitely. Um... And, you know, we've got an opportunity today against Hibernian uh, to score a few and get a bit of confidence. That looked outside of the box to me. So he is going to check it on VAR. It did look outside the area, though. So I think we'll get away with it. Um, but let's see. Let's see what he does. Yeah. No penalty it was on the edge of the area. So here we go. Let's see what they come up with. So it is a free kick. But yeah, nothing, nothing happens with that. So yeah, I think I am going to go attacking because it seemed to really work well in the last match. Um, and really got our intent going. Here's Neymar. Neymar on the ball. Swings it wide to Diego Yotta now. Here's Grealish. Yotta. Here's Aaron's. Max Aaron's on the ball, gets it in, Calvert-Lewin's there, and that was close, and that's what I really love about Calvert-Lewin, he's got, got a bit about him when it comes to headers, and it just gives us a little bit more of an aerial threat going forward, here's Neymar now, switches the play to Yotta. they are really enjoying playing with each other, Yotta keeps going, here's Neymar now, Neymar keeps going, here's Hammers and Watkins, that was a big chance, that was a huge chance for us, but it uh, wasn't to be. And, you know, feels like one of them games where we could well lose out because of being FM'd. Grealish, now Neymar. Neymar on the ball. Again to Aaron's now. Aaron's pushing forward, getting into dangerous positions. Aaron's, here's Yotta. Yotta back to Aaron's. Here's Neymar. Oh, it's off the post. It's off the post. That was very, very close. Grealish now into the middle, buys there, and that's over the bar. Yeah, you just feel like once we get one goal, it's going to open the floodgates. But, uh, yeah, we need to keep going out there, I think, is is the, is the message. Um, 
Yeah, what do we do here? Let's let's give Yota a rest. Let's get Bertrand Traore in there instead. You know, Yota's got an excellent European record as well. Which is something to think about. And here he is, Traore. Oh, that's just wide. I think I said Yota before. I did mean uh, I did mean Traore has got an excellent European record. Uh, Calvert Lewin not having the best of games, so let's get Jamie Vardy on for the last thirty minutes. I mean, well, you know, we'll take a a a, a draw. I think in the first leg, take uh, Gabriel off and, and put. Uh, Sorry, take uh, Bailly off and put Gabriel on. Because Bailly's picked up an injury. But here we go. Rodriguez in. Beautiful ball. And there's Traore. Oh, how's he missed those two chances? That is absolutely crazy. We're going to go very attacking now for the last 20 minutes. Try and steal that goal. Because an away goal could be crucial. But uh, yeah, Gordon. Now Boyle. Gordon again. Right. Boyle, Gordon, Gordon, uh, come on, Boyle, oh, it's a good save, it's a good save from Martinez, good save hands, and he gets it forward, Vardy's there, good flick on, here's Neymar, Neymar, oh, he tried to, to be so unselfish, and well, Watkins has picked up an injury, that's a little bit worrying to see, might just take him off, to be honest. Here's Boyle. Gets it into the middle. Deutsch. Hammers gets it away. Yeah. Uh, it's, well, it's weird. They usually do have a have a message for this certain this so and so has picked up an injury, but not this time. Gabriel with a header, and that was another chance. Looks like it is going to be nil nil here. Unless we pull something off in injury time. And I guess we'll we'll just have to take that. You know, it's not the it's not the result we wanted. And uh, I feel like we should be beating the sides like Hibernian. And that's a little bit of a problem. Holly Watkins out for two weeks. Um and hopefully hopefully Vardy is uh is gonna do a lot better. That's that's what we need to see. He's going to have to pick up uh, the pieces of uh, Ollie Watkins. So when are we going to come back? That is the question. We got the the victory we wanted today. Um, I'm thinking uh, we do those two on Christmas Day. We do those two on Christmas Eve. And why don't we do the start of the running with those two matches against Arsenal and Newcastle? Uh, so I'll play these three matches in between. We're not going to worry about the Europa Conference League or whatever in videos unless un unless we get to the final, which I'll do on Boxing Day if we do if we do get that far. But yeah, I will try and and do most of the running uh, on camera. I think that would be great. So if you've enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like down below. It really does help out. Means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for daily. Football, pardon me, football manager videos. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.